I want to show you how to combine images and uh, to how to create a torn page effect when you are masking the images between each other. On the right hand side you can see I've got three layers. I've added a paper layer uh, which is just paper that I've torn and scanned in. I've got a sunrise layer and then I've got a picture of lion's eyes that are going to be um, peering through the tear in the page. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, turn on my paper layer. I want to position that down. To about there. I'm going to copy the paper with Command C. Command V to paste in another copy of it. I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees. And I can hold the Shift key to constrain that so that I get it rotated perfectly. And that's about how much of the uh, image of the lion that I want to see through the, the, uh, the other, the sunrise image. So I'm going to right click on the top copy of the torn paper. I'm going to merge that down so that we have just one paper layer. I want to duplicate that. And with the uh, lower of the two, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the top one, but with the lower of the two, I want to use that as a mask for the uh, image below. Turn it on. And that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to turn that other paper layer back on because I want a little bit of that edge. So I'm going to use my magic wand tool on the left hand side. Just select that. In order to move this selection now, I have to switch to the lasso on the left. And with the shift key and the arrow keys, I'm going to bump that up, just nudge that a little bit. And then I'm going to press Command X to delete that. Command D to deselect. I'm going to repeat that with the bottom uh, half of the paper as well. And you can go in and clean that up as you need to, but that looks relatively good. Now we can go ahead and adjust some things a little bit. So um, I'm going to add an effect, I think, to this top page. So we're going to click on FX on the uh, Layers palette. I'm going to add a Drop Shadow. That actually looked pretty good where it was. So I've got an opacity of about 60%. Give it a radius of uh, exactly 45. Offset of about, let's see what 30 looks like. Not bad. An intensity of, let's say, 55. And the blend mode, we want to go ahead and change that to multiply. And the one last thing that I'd like to do is just adjust the colors on that, uh, that lion's face. So I'm going to add a an adjustment layer. Let's go ahead and do a hue saturation luminosity adjustment layer. Just bring that up just a little bit. And I want to go ahead and make that specific to the lion's image so I can drag that in. Again, if you didn't see that, um, just dragging it to the left of the icon for that image layer. You can see there's a, a little white vertical bar that will insert it into that image layer, image group. If you have suggestions for other tutorials or comments, go ahead and leave those below. Thanks.